Hello and welcome back to the road to SSL. We're on episode number 14 for today. And in the last episode, we had quite the up and down with some wins, some losses. But there's only five days left in this season. And uh, we're probably not going to make it to SSL in this season. So we're going to have to go through some more placements and come back up to the Grand Champion level. But we're at Grand Champion 1, Division 3 still. I think in this episode, we should be able to make Division 4 and maybe even Grand Champion 2 if, if games go well. But of course, before we jump into the next episode, we have to do the meme of the day. And we have Ad Kitty's suggestion of here's Johnny Boy. So this should be a fun one. Let's get right into it. All right, here we have the classic photo, of course. Uh, I mean, maybe you guys haven't seen this movie, but either way, we've got Johnny and we've got Johnny. So we got to mix these two together. This is the only photo I could find of Johnny Boy where he's actually facing a similar direction, uh, as you can see. So we're going to make this work. Um, okay, let's just begin. All right, so I've done a rough job of cutting out Johnny Boy. So we have a better idea of what we're working with here. I'm going to try and match the size of his head with uh, Johnny. I know it's kind of confusing. But I'm matching Johnny with Johnny. Looks like I need to go a little bigger. It looks like I can also probably get away with not using any any of his neck. Because it's kind of dark down there. So I'm going to try and clean it up. We'll see how it turns out. Just going in here with some cleanup tools. Got to keep the microphone intact. Alright, so far it doesn't look real. Like It doesn't look like he's in the photo. So we got to figure out a way to to fix this. I really think the uh, the edge of the door needs to be there. So I might, I might have to make his head big enough that he doesn't have the headphones, to be honest. It might not work without removing that. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to make this invisible for now. I'm going to grab the selection of the door itself and try to overlay that over Johnny Boy. Okay. So we've got, we've got Johnny Boy behind the door now. That's looking a lot better already. Actually, I kind of, I kind of like that, but it's, it's not quite there yet. Yeah, I can't go any smaller because otherwise the headphones are going to show up. So what I'm noticing is the color balance isn't quite good. So I'm going to go in here and try to mess with it a little bit. So temperature needs to go up a little bit. Exposure down. Bring the contrast up. A little more highlights. Add a little more texture to them. It's already much better, but I think there's a little bit too much color. I went a little too heavy on the temperature. That's a little better. One more thing I could do is sort of match the film grain of the background. And I think I could do that through another filter. Noise, add noise. <laughs> okay, I gotta fix up his beard a little bit here and then I think I'm happy. All right, there we have it. That's Here's Johnny Boy. Thank you so much for the recommendation. If you want to see your recommendation be in the next episode, drop a comment of your favorite pun and picture, and maybe I'll do it in the next one. But now let's get to the episode. All right, game number one. We're the highest MMR in the lobby, too. We got Chaos on my team against Vengeance and Game Night GG. So, let's see how it goes. Uh, speed flip towards... Well, not speed flip. Just a corner flip towards the kickoff. So, big demo from Chaos, but Game Night sells the ball here. So, wait in net. He pops it across. Now, I can go for the ball off the side and stay close. I got some space to set up an air dribble. I'm going to let them try to go for the 50 here and go for the block. I just, all I was doing there was just trying to watch the opponent on the back end. Once I set up the air dribble, I wasn't trying to go for anything crazy on an outplay because they're already jumping. So I'm just trying to get a read on where they are on the play. I mean, I haven't really pulled out too many mechanics. It's not really that big of mechanics. My teammate wants it here, so I'm just going to go behind. Still got lots of time because Vengeance is backwards. And a great shot for my teammate as well. So another air dribble. So yeah, definitely within the realm of possibility as far as like uh, plays go. I don't feel like I was out of out of reach on that air dribble, but I, I know I'm getting a lot of comments saying that I can do a little more. So I'm trying to do that and show like how you can utilize some space. That's definitely going to be just a good shot. I mean, it's just a perfect shot off of the kickoff. Uh, my teammate ended up trying to go up for this and I think he missed the, the read. Yeah, he's trying to catch it uh, uh, onto uh, his car maybe or try to flip it outwards towards their back right corner but ends up just booming it into mid and even if i try to reach for that i might not have not might not have gotten to it now this guy threw the ball away off that touch so i can wait for it um here and try to catch it and now i've got a 1v1 and this guy's pretty scared to challenge but this guy's leaving a lot of space so it's gonna boom it towards him see my team can finish it great shot well placed so right there i'm using the space of the ball and the fact that he can't turn around right away he has to um go for the ball after I hit it or try to turn around fast and that's when I can strike because he's in an, a vulnerable position trying to turn around. I just missed the boost, but to be okay. Good flick. This is a little bit dangerous. He ends up throwing it to the wall and I can lead around with the ball and keep it close. It's going to be up. I'm going to get demoed here, which is actually okay because I'm low boost and my teammate uh, covered me perfectly there. Definitely a, a really good teammate uh, uh, this time around. I mean, we, we've had some, some wild rides 
through the matches here, but really good coverage there from my teammate once again in midfield after I made for the challenge. And this guy's rushing, playing way too fast on the wall. This guy's also being very, very aggressive. This guy might get back here. I'm just going to go for 50. It's in his net. He definitely should have, uh, he shouldn't have pushed up like that on, uh, on this play right here. He could have faked it while I was around the ball, but he ends up just hitting it into me and he's trying to clear it away from his net, but he really should hit this into the corner. He could have saved that if he went around the ball to the far right. And then, yeah, the 90, 90 ping, yeah, it's pretty rough. I can imagine. Um, I mean, he probably thought he was closer, but still, I think that like trying to play it directly downfield every time is not going to be in your favor if the opponent is in a favorable position to get a 50-50 where they're not expecting you to go. Oh, teammate misses. I can't really, I could have maybe turned fast, but um, it's a little scary. And see how I, I hit that ball not like perfectly into the corner, so I knew that I let go of possession. And instead of chasing it down the corner, um, I just left the ball uh, and then waited for them to make it hit back to me. Honestly, a lot of Rocket League is just hitting the ball back and forth in, p in possession, so just knowing when you're trading possession is important. This could be a, a goal here. It might be. He ended up hitting it too hard, though. He recognizes that that was open because he's complaining that he missed. Um, but definitely a situation where, you know, just knowing that you have the open space can be very, very um, daunting. Open goals are some of the hardest goals to score, even at the highest level. I'm just going to go uh, close to backboard in case teammate wants to go. I'm waiting in mid for this. Ventures was last. This is technically open. I'm just going to bring it to the corner and chip this off the wall. And now maybe it'll go towards net. He ends up getting a save. Decent 50, 50, 50 for my teammate, but I'm low. And we see game night actually comes across the field, which is good. Good coverage and really good play for my teammate to um, to bump that guy out of the out of the game. That was in, not intentional. I, I, I'm sorry about that one. I was actually just trying to turn in uh, to the play. And I think that was definitely a nail in the coffin for that one. I did not even mean to turn into this guy. I didn't think he was sitting there. Because he really probably should have been closer to the ball if he wants to save it rather than having it in midfield like that. But good game overall. I mean, definitely picked it up a little bit. And um, I'm still a little salty about how the last games kind of went because I feel like we definitely could have... Uh, I could have shown how to play that a little bit differently to get the win. But like I said in the last episode, I don't really want to just pick it up in a game if someone's being toxic or, or whatever or, or if my teammate's not really um, holding their own in the lobby. I think that's like perfectly normal and perfectly fine to happen. We've got a teammate here who's actually higher ranked than me a little bit. We've got 12, 12 MMR above me, so got some space. You can bring that across the net if you want or stay close. I decided to stay close and maybe bump this guy. Ends up missing. Maybe my teammate can go up for this. So they're panicking and they're kind of throwing the throwing it to me. So it's okay if he pinches it, but I'm just going to sit close to the ball. This ball goes over Kyle's head, but it's in a decently safe spot where I can just go down midfield, grab a few, po uh, a few poods. You know, sometimes... I was going to say boost, and then I said uh, I said I wanted to say pad. <laughs> anyway, grab a few boost pads, and I had um, 100 in midfield. Anyway, that was, that was what I was trying to say. He has some pretty good control here. Ends up throwing it away, though. This guy's close, which is fine. Once again, trade of possession, back and forth. This guy might go for a demo of some sort, so I'm watching that. Good back pass for my teammate, though. And the way I want to hit this is around uh, the one player, but as you can see, that's also pretty dangerous. But they overcommit, and we might get a goal here. I want to hit this bottom right. Or else I'm going to get 50-50 uh, into the corner. Um, so they overcommitted on that shot. I mean, I technically kind of fo uh, didn't force their hand, but the guy uh, saw the opportunity to go for a shot. The other guy was trying to demo, ends up missing, and he just went off the bar. But I would say my touch was not great because it did give them a shooting opportunity. I don't know if he stole that boost. It really should be a... Um, there should be a... Um, I've said this for a long time. There should be a quick chat. That, oh, good try on the open net. Like I said, open nets are the hardest score uh, to score. There should be a quick chat that basically you quick chat and it tells you the amount of boost. Psionics, Rocket League, please. That Like, we're in 2023 now. I feel like that should be a thing. Um, same thing with Rumble power-ups. There should be like a, like when you're in Rumble, there should be like a quick chat uh, that you can use. Um, that is like Rumble power-up. And uh, if you use that Rumble power-up quick chat in a normal game, it says you're not in Rumble or something. And it just like, you know, it's like an internal... Almost like the chat disabled for three seconds thing. Um, oh, this guy missed. Make him panic. I'm going to pop this middle, see if my teammate can follow it. Good try. I have some space here, though. I can t tap, tap this wide if I want to. Lots of space. Tip this off the wall. Just doing little chip shots. And like I said, you can practice those in free play a lot to just get those, those touches accurately off the wall. Kyle might pop this middle. I'm not going to jump for this right away because I can see that there's two players already jumping for it. And now I have a shot opportunity. I cannot describe what just happened. <laughs> um, 
I think it just pinged off of both players. Boop. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a little lucky, because I, I could have shot that a little better, but I just went for the uh, the touch off the backboard. Uh, some Of some sort of touch. I'll get behind my teammate here. It's over his head. A good save, though. This ball's going to bounce down and into a spot where they could read it off the wall before I do. So I'm just going to wait. Now I want to get in the way as soon as possible. I could have shot that towards target. But the way I'm going to leave this off the wall right here is to stay close. Oh. What? Okay. And they're done. Yeah, that was... I guess because of that miss and they both went, they're pretty mad at each other. That was nothing to do with the goal. They just kind of got mad at each other for missing. I think... Weren't they teamed up? No, they weren't teamed up. But either way. Weird second game. A teammate played pretty well. Really good uh, follow-up on, on touches and good positioning. And uh, we'll move on from this one. We've got Wolf, David, and Wash Fear? G? <laughs> I'm going to go up for a slow cheat here. It goes into our back corner. But I know I can turn on this before anybody else. And yeah, I'm going to try and draw somebody in. There we go. My teammate's waiting in mid. Once again, that's a, it's a play where like he doesn't need to go for a touch off the wall. It's already in a position where he can wait. But his players like are super, super worried that something's going to happen. Or some, some touch is going to come from the opponents. But even if they make a touch, it's not a big deal. This guy's going to definitely mi gonna miss. I'm just going to stay in front. Wait back here. My teammate to go is behind him so hopefully he leaves he ends up uh touching the ball again but i'm just gonna go for a 50 with him is it still a 50 if it's your teammate i have no idea i'm gonna wait back here so let's go with the ball at this point i can boom it off the wall if i want to and see what wolf does he catches it well played now my teammate has to be really careful because i'm i'm over committed hopefully he stays with this good demo so he goes forward as you can see, this guy's coming forward for this for this challenge. I didn't really have a good position to go for a good dribble. I definitely could have if I like went SSL mode on them, but I'm not gonna do that. At the same point um, in time, like I can go for a safer play and just kind of go for a 50/50, or wait for my teammate to sort of realize I'm not going for an all-in play, and uh, he'll start to you know hopefully rotate back. I'm gonna go for a shot. This should be a save here. My teammate once again should have space. A bit awkward. He ends up backing off. I think he could have stayed with that ball. That's going to be a close play. But I was waiting for the far shot. My teammate was covering like the right side. So I'm just trying to watch the the other side of the play. Now, once again, I, I could follow that up. But the other guy's already reading it. I'm going to try and go, go wide for my teammate. Now, that's a really bad touch because it goes in the middle. But this guy's not quite ready. So I'm just going to shoot it forward. I'm trying to get my teammate involved. But he's got 40 points. I don't think he's really been able to do much here. This guy might go. Ooh. Not a good touch. But I can follow this up. Knowing that my teammate made for the, made the pop off the, off the ceiling. This is a little scary of a touch too. And it might be a goal. Yeah. So awkward save. I really thought he would have clued that to the side rather than up into the ceiling. But he obviously didn't judge the shot as well as he should have. He says, sorry, I'm lagging. Oh, he's 120 ping. <laughs> okay, no problem. No problem. All right, good shot off the side. This guy, this guy might rush. It's off the backboard. It might be go up though. This is a bit awkward with low boost. So I'm just going to go up for a touch. We get a save. This guy might panic and throw it off the wall, which he does. Now I can try to bump this guy. Oh, good try. This guy might miss. What the heck is going on? Good try on the shot. This guy clears it middle. I'm gonna clear off the sidewall. Get this mid. They're pretty low and good challenge for my teammate. He ends up missing. Maybe a bump. Good try. This ball's once again gonna bounce mid though, and I can go for a shot. I'm just trying to watch those opportunities where the ball's spilling into a, a good position. I'm just watching those positions where the ball's going to spill into a spot where they're not quite reading it. It looked like it might have bounced off the corner, so the guy was trying to watch that middle spill. He says need boost. I'm not really going to try and force that back corner because a lot of players like like to cancel that. Now, this is an awkward play where I'm alone for a long time. I'm going to try and force the guy off the play to stay, cl uh, to stay away, which I do pretty well. He could have definitely barreled in and challenged me because I'm last for a long time there. Guys, bobbing and weaving. Go for a pop middle. This goes right to Wolf, though. What I'm going to try and do is try and bump the player so he's a little awkward. Oh, good good save by me, but then off the post, it was a dunk. I think my teammate could have could have stalled a little bit longer right here. He, d he did a full-on aggressive challenge where he could have uh, been a little more patient and waited for me to get behind him. Goes off the wall here. I'll pop this downfield, see if they can go for it. Okay, they're both being very aggressive. Pop over two. Good shot attempt. Maybe it's finish. This guy's faking the ball. 
We'd rather grab this corner, see if he goes for a shot. Not the greatest shot. They're going to be a clear here. I'm going to just pop this towards net. Looks like they're both overcommitted. Oh. This could be a good re read off the back corner here. I'm going to go up for this. Go for a shot. And there's the finish. So the way that I pop that up, it's going to be really awkward for the defense to uh, to read this. I'm definitely playing a little too fast also. I was going to mention that. Um, but you know, sometimes you just got to make good reads and go for those shots. Uh, but I think that like I'm just w trying to watch for these spill outs in mid. This guy's going to get my boost. I'm already reading that and going for the back corner before it even happens to try and be ahead of the play. They boom it down the field. I have some space to catch this. I see this guy creeping up on me, so I'm just going to go for a pop off the ceiling. And let's see if my teammate goes for it. Decent play. Big flick. Is it in? It's not in. Uh-oh. I'm getting PTSD. They might drop this. They're going to drop it. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to stay a little bit back in case this guy's kickoff doesn't go quite well. He is high ping. I'm not sure if he's lagging or... He said it's laggy, but... Like, is that lag based on EU ping? Oh, he's 80 ping now. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just West ping with some lag. Now they have some space here for an air dribble. I'm just going to wait to see what happens. Now we can go for a 50. See what this guy does. He ends up backing off and tries to go for this now, which is fine. My teammates should have this. Get 50. See what they do with this. It's going to go over his head. It's going to move it down the field. See what Wolf does in the corner. Trying to make good control. I don't want to barrel into the corner right away because, um, you know, if I get dunked there, it's really, really bad for us. Good challenge. I'm going to go for this aerial. Go for a shot, and there's the goal. So really good, uh, really good play in midfield, uh, where my teammate just goes for an absolute dunk. I see that Wolf is in the corner, so I just go for a shot. Hey, I didn't. I mean, I kind of carried that game. I'm not gonna lie, but like that, I definitely think my teammate played pretty decent with the high ping he was dealing with. So overall, just finding those opportunities to go for the uh, the shots when I find them, and uh, we get we get 100 credits. Let's go. We don't talk about those. All right, last game we've got David on the other team, August. And cycle. I think we had David in a, a previous game. It might not be in the game before. But he ends up popping it towards me. He's going for another touch. But once again, I know he's got no angle on net there. So I'm just going for a, a, a 50. Teammate had a lot more time because the other guy was bailing out of the out of the net. So, ooh, there we go. Good pass. Great play. So lots of space there. It ended up working out because August uh, tried to bump him and missed, and then backflipped. Ended up killing all of his momentum, and David was in the corner. So. I mean, definitely a weird play, but it ends up working. I'm going to try to go back for, uh, let's say, need boost. See if he goes back corner. So he's sitting with it. A bit awkward. Off the corner, he can try to make a touch here. Pops it across. I'll let him stay with it because he's got momentum forward. This guy leaves. I see August is up. I'm just going to wait backboard. And now I can go for a reactive play. Once again, he might pop it high. Hopefully my teammate goes first. He's backwards. Nice bump. It's a bit awkward here, but once again, my teammate has momentum to just let him go. Now this ball's in mid. We see yet David goes for the touch. He goes for a shot, but ends up missing. I'm going to try and stay close to the wall here. I'm going to try and force a player in. And we end up getting a goal. So I don't want to make a play where I push forward. August already left. Oh, boy. That was a an abandon, I think. Yeah, like that was not necessary for August to dive in like that. I think he's upset, but honestly, like I don't think that was really... Um, David's fault. That was really just... You see the player on your team right under the ball. I don't think it's always wise that you go for the the attack on the ball when there's already a teammate covering the play. Like right here. I'm already right here. So I go for the touch instead and my teammate's waiting behind me. So that's what you really should be like watching at least in 2v2. Uh, even in 3v3 nowadays. Um, it's all about whoever's the closest. But unfortunately, uh, we have a 1v2. I'm going to end up letting them play. You guys, 1v1. Great shot. I'll kick off. Ugh. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. You know what? <laughs> I'll just sit in net. <laughs> Alright, so my teammate ended up going for the corner boost after the kickoff. And I think he, yeah, got the boost stolen. And he turned really wide. I'll go for kickoff here. All right. Is he waiting in net? What's happening? He's not playing? Okay. I guess I guess I'm playing the 1v1 here. So 
stop the corner. Might go for a demo or something. So go for a flick and see what he does with this. Ends up clearing to the corner, but he's wasted a lot of boost by doing that. There we go. Now I have space on the ball again here. Big flick to be a save, but this boost should spawn in time. So all of that, that cycle of play, like... Is he back? No, he's not back. All of that made it so that um, the boost will spawn back in that corner while I'm making an attack, and then I can keep the pressure. Alright, we'll let him go for this. Oh, he's letting me play. He's waiting a net. Well, I don't want a 1v1. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. <laughs> what is going on? He's making me 1v1. Oh, have the terms of tabled. Okay, well, this is open, so I'll go for the shot. You want me to 1v1? Go for it. He <laughs> said I'm bad. <laughs> no, you're not. Look at that. Boom, he scored. All right, I guess I'm going for it again. All right, this could be bad here. That's a good shot. Yeah, this is a bad 50-50. I mean, I don't really want to play the 1v1 because I feel kind of weird playing it at this rank, but... Is what it is. The other guy has eight points, barely even in the game. All right. What I'm gonna do is to chip this around this guy, uh, so I have lots of space to work with. I have a one v one opportunity with a dribble here. See how awkward this is for him if I just go up the wall there. Um, a lot of players will expect the immediate shot towards the net, but all I have to do is just chip this up the wall off the curve, and he has to jump up for it because it's um, sitting up the wall. I guess he's saying, "Take the shot." <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That's a good sh shot. It's going to be a say, uh, shot too. I, I don't want to like overdo it with the kickoffs here, but that was a really good play from him to uh, immediately flick it. Big flicks. Can he get it? So a way that I'm driving there is I'm trying to get the demo once he flips into the ball. I can catch this and slow it down and then just go for a, a top flick because he spawned far right. I don't know what I'm doing. I honestly think this is chalked. Um, is he saying take it again? I think he's saying take it again. So, oh, 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 oh. Okay. All right, all right. Good save. There we go. He's playing. Good try. I shouldn't grab any pads. I'm trying to avoid pads. Good try. Big overcommit, though. A little bit dangerous. And a good shot from David. So, uh, I guess we'll we'll just trade back and forth these kickoffs. Okay, it's my kickoff here. This guy's, like, a pretty decent 1v1 player. I mean, he's just... Oh, he's leaving the ball for me, or a boost. Oh, he's messing with the 1v1. Go for a wave dash around him, see what he does. Go around him again. So I kind of used the wave dash there to move forward and pop the ball over him. Um, we had space here to give a little more momentum on the ball. And that he was definitely trying to posture for that. But I just popped it around him. Maybe going for a immediate shot. I can definitely get back to that if I have 12 boost. Oh! <laughs> oh, you almost shot it in our own net. All right, so he booms it forward. All I gotta do is touch this around him, and then it's a safe play. No, it's off target. It's all good. He can't score it. He tried for it anyway. And because he boomed into the corner like that, I can get this corner boost for free. Let's see what he does with this. This guy's done a lot of practice with his drift shots, and I can tell. What I'm gonna do here is just force him into the, making a touch. He's got a good opportunity here to... Maybe make a dribble happen. That's a really good flick. Off the post, though. I thought I had the top bin red, and I did, but he just went for it anyway off the side. Good flick. But a weird final game for this episode. I mean, GG, well played to David. Sorry about the teammate that left. I think he was just tilted. 
he went in for a really bad challenge when his teammate was already on the ball and you can see that when you overcrowd your teammate you're going to cause a lot of issues and a lot of uh, rotational problems uh but we have a uh, pretty good climb here we're at 15 uh i guess 1556 uh which is getting close and closer and closer to grand champ 2 hope you guys enjoyed until next time have a great day i'll catch you guys in the next one